They broke a pattern. Uh, I, I frequently get this one misused as well. Um, but it broke a pattern. Let's see, the context is several servers are cooperating in an application, but they, they're located, you know, they're in a different place today from where they were yesterday. So when I start up, I don't know where the services are located. All I know is that um, there may or may not be services that might not be turned on yet. Um, but my application depends on that service. The problem is when I'm building the distributed system, uh, I can't be sure where the service is going to be located. So uh, I need some means of finding it and establishing a connection with it. The forces, components should be able to access the service provided by others through remote um, location transparent service invocations. Okay. You need to exchange add or remove components at runtime or on demand. Um, you can't you can't say, well, before this application runs, that other application must be there because you've got no control over it, no visibility, and the application can't exactly get on the phone. So you have to be able to deal with that. The architecture should hide system and implementation dependent details from the user of those services. Right? The solution is you introduce a broker. Now, the services register themselves with a broker. So if I'm providing a service, or if, if, uh, as a service application, I start up, and the first thing I do is I find the, ser the uh, broker and I register that I'm here and ready for business. Okay? So that means that the, the, uh, the broker has to be in a findable place. Clients request services through the broker. So the client doesn't know where the service is, but they know where the broker is. So I say to the broker, find me a service to do this, and uh, it, it will find it. The broker then introduces one to the other and steps out. That's, that's the limit of its uh, business. The broker is not a facade, is not a proxy, and is not a party to any transactions that occur after the introduction. It is a broker. The design, the UML design, uh, you can see there, um, doesn't quite explain the, the time sequence of things, merely the, the relationship for things, but you get a, a client and a service interface and a server. All right? And um, the uh, service interface can um, call the broker to go find where the service is and, and connect the two to use. In use, when applications or services are spread around, it's undesirable to require the applications always, ex always in, in one place. Uh, it's not only undesirable, it's probably impossible. I mean, servers break. So, have the broker who knows where all the applications are at any instant, uh, after the service fires up and registers with them. When the application starts, tell the broker where you are. Uh, I'm this service and this is where I am. When the client starts, ask the broker where the service is. The broker tells one where the other is and then steps out. 